in the courts of heaven there are three courts one is what is called the executive court the second is what we call the legislative court the third is what we call the judiciary court i greet you my lovely family good news to you good news to you welcome you to another one so in this video prophet Hubert Ejo was teaching about the court system of heaven he said they have the executive court the judiciary court and the legislative court and went to define the duty of each and every court how what is performed in the executive uh, court what happened in the judiciary court and what happened in the legislative legislative court so he as he, he explained what happened in each and every uh, each of the courts so let's get in this video if you are new please subscribe to our channel like and share this video god bless you there is a move of the spirit there is a move are you getting this there is a move when you get to a point where you say to yourself okay now what is in the heavenlies can i have three guys can i have three guys three handsome guys okay yeah stand here first yes no since you are wearing white yes, sir. and you are the only prophet here <laughs> go this direction are you getting this now now are you here yes. so in the courts of heaven there are three courts one is what is called the executive court the second is what we call the legislative court the third is what we call the judiciary court. <laughs> you never say something, eh? It is to be believed. If you don't believe what I'm saying, just trust I'm telling you the truth. Are you getting this? So you have the what? The executive court. You have the legislative court. You have the what? Judiciary. Is someone getting me? Yes. Now here. In the executive court of God, only God's secrets exist there. Uh, please try to... Yes, like that. Yes. We are trying to... Thank you. Now, in the executive court of God, when God decides here, no man is allowed in. What makes a person a legal captive and a captive is due to the structures of the courts of heaven. Ah, the vain or flare and cracks the fully tasks. So, when God says, let us make men in our own image, he was speaking while he's in the executive court. So, there, no man can say, I don't like what you are creating. To the point that when he started creating Adam, he said, let him sleep. He said, let him sleep, I want to create Eve. Imagine if he was awake. I think that leg is too short. She's not light enough. God said, you need to sleep. Why? Because I'm doing this from an executive court. So, Prophet Isaiah here was anointed from the executive court. Whether you like it or not, you can't change it. You can even have series again as you were angel. <laughs> create anything you want to create again as him. He will never be removed from being a prophet. Why? Before I was formed in the womb, he knew me and ordained me. Why? Because in the king, in the executive court, it's only ordination. There is no promotion there. Ordination. Ordination has nothing to do with what you have done. Now, I mean, I mean, I mean you, are, you are missing that one, right? Some of you are just waiting for Money is coming. Hallelujah. <laughs> if the word is not in you, 
you will never be able to walk in the things we have walked into into avenues we have walked into may 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 your ears those who have got ears me ah i speak now the level of your finances let equivalent to the level of your listening so now in the realm of the spirit he is in the executive court are you here so when god said let us make men in our own image he came out of himself that's why the bible says the lord said to my lord god walked out of himself and looked at himself <sighs> oh okay so god had to walk out of himself and turned around and looked at himself and he spoke to himself while he's outside of himself and told himself that let's agree you and you and i and i to make a man in our own image called adam and when the devil fell it was the executive court that decided the punishment to the point that even if the devil repents he cannot be forgiven executive court decided and that was it this is, have you ever wondered what if the devil just wants to say sorry and the bible calls him the most intelligent thou sealest up the psalm in other words when god does the equation of intelligence nothing surpasses the devil if he is this intelligent why can't he see that he's going to hell and just repent even if he tries to he can't why the executive court has already decided it's not going to happen i don't know if you are getting this now i don't know if you are flying the same way you should be flying are you hearing this are you hearing this so hear me hear me well so there is the executive court there is the judiciary so what controls the executive court is sovereignty in this court god rules alone mm. i can see my lawyer they're going like mm, are we getting what we are saying <laughs> then, then we get to the legislative court where laws are created in this the legislature the people that make up the laws love wrath of god the benevolence of god the charity the grace of god so when you sin the grace empowers you to stop mm, mm, mm. love motivates you to stop but love will never make you stop ah because it has no capacity as grace has so the anger of god says he should be killed let me just stay here for a few minutes before i do what i need to do spirits i repeat i have given you this over and over again but maybe here is not the right mm, uh, mm. i can see you will miss it so please listen from afar listen to me well spirits cannot forgive god has no ability to forgive i know let me try here i see i'm already in trouble but i don't care spirits don't know what forgiveness is even god can't i did not say doesn't he can't if it was easy for God to forgive, who he would just stand in heaven and say, People on earth, I forgive you. Bye. <laughs> what spirits know is when you sin, you need to die. That's it. So, because of the love of God in the executive court, there is nothing called forgiveness. You sin, you die. That's what the Bible says a spirit that sins should die. <laughs> the spirit that sins should what 
die that's all god knows this is the reason why god had to become a man so he dies himself because there is no way he can forgive you without death and now he doesn't want to kill you because of love but he doesn't understand the way of forgiveness in the hebrew if you look in the greek it's the word aphesis there is no word for forgiveness i've been forgiven by god you are a liar it's a technical term we use as christians but if it was forgiveness you don't need to die why would you die there's no reason to die you just say i forgive you how many people have died forgiving people someone messes you up you go like i'm going to die okay because <laughs> so spirits don't know what forgiveness is they only know someone has to die so in order for somebody to die they need to kill someone and in order for them to kill somebody they need to become the person that dies themselves because they still have love so since they have love they would rather replace you and die in your stead but they really cannot understand forgiveness it's getting in is it getting in right now okay let me go back to the people did he get in yeah from afar i knew you were gonna get it so christians don't get it right now it will be war comment section no it's not true i remember when i said when i said you don't pray to jesus oh my god it became a war but jesus is god are you mad i have a wife called bb angel do you understand this a son called ravi here no just imagine he is here he calls me dad my wife can call me dad can call me husband my mother calls me a son but when around eight nine when i go to bed in my bedroom do i take my son let's see see not just a small advice before we continue why why do you hate my advice like this why do you like this advice i'm about to give you you know adam and eve were married without tete being around no aunt nothing trust your aunt trust her at your own peril trust her and this should just correct you to a certain degree when you're about to get to the bedroom say and this one i do on my own you are hearing what i'm saying <laughs> I remember the apostle of joy jesse duplandis was given some overactive hyperactive protocol hyperactive protocol <laughs> when he went to preach somewhere so every time where he went people were moving with him man of god man of god they're doing very nice he got into the toilet and one is all standing there like this he said brother i'm a man of god but this one i'm able to do on my own <laughs> Are you getting it anyway let's go back so while you're sitting there you have one big problem of thinking in the realm of the spirit forgiveness or case the way forgiveness happens on earth no it doesn't God sees you as a sinner he wants to kill you the only way to eradicate sin according to God is not to forgive it but to kill the sinner spirits understand death as the eradication of problems that's why on earth right now we hate wars we brand people like like hitler as demonic and diabolic devilish why because spirits understand death that's why they like wars they want to kill everyone but in the realm of the spirit even on the right side god also likes death Ah. <laughs> why did he kill his own son 
Have you ever wondered why God didn't kill the devil and kill his son? Are you getting this? Why? Why is God killing his only begotten son? The devil was there. He would have just gone to the devil and said, carry this one. Solution done. The sin, the sorrow that what? That sins shall what? Shall die. Death is the solution for God. You have to die if you sin. That's all God is there for. You have to do what? Now hear this. So now you have what is called the judiciary. The judiciary is when men are allowed to argue. The Bible says, bring your strong reasons together. Bring your strong reasons. It's biblical. Bring your strong reasons. Hiya, hiya. Malaysia. Let's go. One, two, three. Produce your cause, says the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons. So. <laughs> he says, if you want to come out of your predicament, if you don't want to be a legal captive, bring a strong, your strong reasons. So God now has an opportunity that if you are a legal captive, God now wants to get to a point where he comes in and hears strong arguments that surpass the devil's arguments. This is why the Bible says, pray with all prayer. Petitioning. The word petition is a prayer that you actually write down. You write number one. Did you hear what I just said? See, 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 I know you've not been taught like this. You think all prayers just were your words. No. When it comes to the prayer of petition, you write down. Number one, you said this. You, you know, I sinned like this, like this, like this. Number two, you said you are a forgiving God. You said the power on the cross and your blood. Number three, David also did the same thing I did. Uh -uh. You, you see, you didn't get that right. How many, how many are in the legal uh, profession here? How many are in the legal profession? There, legal, 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 yes. Is a judge here. Now, imagine, imagine when you were a magistrate then and you are residing over a case. Presiding, you want to hear what they call cases. Zamakumaran versus Jonah. You caught some cases that happened in England about people who fought each other 1893 you are bringing a case to support your own issue this happened between this one and this one and if you go to britain it's too okay it's like unequated it's like from 1800s you caught people you don't even know you bring them in so this case happened where a person turned their car like this their 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 um, their trailer like this now you're using a mercedes benz but you're cutting a case with trailers and horses you bring in and the judge says, mm, mm, mm. so if you have that case, uh-huh, it is almost the same as this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are right. So now, so I'm looking into the Bible. I'm searching for every case where somebody committed a crime like mine. And God forgave them. <laughs> That's a petition. There are things called the prayer of faith. Where inside that prayer, if you just say, if it is your will, you will lose that prayer. The prayer of faith, you don't put if. You disturb it. Father, it is, if it is, if. That means you don't know. The prayer of faith is a declaration of faith prayer. In the name of Jesus, you say this, and I establish it. That's the prayer of faith. Inside that prayer of faith, if you just put if, that's the badge of doubt. It's a medal of doubt. You doubt it. If it be your will, ah. Uh, the Bible says, I will give you the desires of your heart. So when you are petitioning God, list it. Say what the problem is. Your problems, this is my problem. This is the crime. This is the problem that happened. And this is the issue that I'm in now. I can't even buy anything. I, can't, I don't even have a house. But I know my problem is this one. But God remember. 
remember yeah. hey, you said david a man after your own heart yeah, I, oh, I think i'm better than david here according to <laughs> according to the rules here david i <laughs> i went with my wife too we had no car went to a certain location and and it was this dodge car you know brilliant car with some you know like a small ladder you had to climb up to get in no money whatsoever i just lent the prayer of petition i put it down there like this like this like this like this molding it in my hands like this so i'm looking around you know when you don't have money you look at everything are you are you not uh, i don't think these guys no. my people you you see you see you see they get it i think you're too rich this side you know <laughs> you know when you don't have money you, your looking is different when you have money you just go like this because you've already seen the car in a magazine or somewhere you say okay just I'll, I'll buy that one and you go and sit down and they give you coffee with no money you'll be like yeah uh the tires um Can you open the boot? You, you know, you know when you have money, you are troublesome. You <laughs> when they tell you it's fifty-six thousand, when you thought it was twenty, you go, "What type of paint is this? The paint? What is? What is this? When was it painted? Ah, when?" <laughs> you say, "Okay, what type of fuel? It's diesel. Mm, do you have petrol?" They say, "Yes, it's this one." Ha! They have petrol. <laughs> You know, you're expecting them to say there's no petrol, nah, nothing. They say, yeah, he, this is the petrol one. So, okay. They are those ones with gas, you know, gas. They say, yeah, it's the next one, the gas one. <laughs> what about the one that mixes gas and petrol? Say, this is the one day, the fourth one day. Mm. How many weeks can I get it in red? Oh, we have a red one, it's at the back there. So I arrived at the said now we can bring it. So we knew we have no money whatsoever. Said, mm, what am I going to do? Because I don't know any verse in the Bible where someone asked for a car which was new. Ah, now my petition prayer is now getting somewhere. It's stuck now legally. I got a scripture. I told my wife, I said, we got it. We went home. And the Lord asked his disciples, go into the city. You will see a new donkey. No one has ever. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know you are not getting it. No, no, no. We have a book here called Praying for the Impossible. I lay it down nicely. I didn't say buy it. You can even ask your friend who has that book and say, let's go to the prayer of petition now. And you see, I laid it down. Number one, do this. Number two, do this. Number three. I even gave some cases you can cite there. You say, I'm finished. You put it on the wardrobe there. In the wardrobe there, you say, now God. My prayer says, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are my reasons. You read the reasons. You don't say, God, I wrote it. It's in the wardrobe. Read it. No, no, you don't. You have laid down reasons. Now you have put God in a spiritual corner. Not because you are manipulating him. But because he made himself to be manipulated to that level. See, I'm telling you how to come out of a legal captivity situation. Because I know what you came here for. You came here so that I can say, you are out of your legal captivity. In the name of Jesus, out. That, 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 that. <laughs> That announcement is okay but you will not do much in this case now sit down sit down so adam sins hear this adam sins and the executive court says he is going to be out of the garden of eden the executive is now looking for adam and in the legislative court there is what grace mercy wrath of god the benevolence of god this is the th these are the things that make the laws in the legislative court not a human being the heart of god that god can just look at you and feel sorry for you 
and then a law is made even though you have sinned several times and people just know you are a sinner you wake up and the mercedes benz is parked by your door <sighs> is this not the guy who sinned two weeks ago here i see him what happened mercy so mercy cries mm. love substitutes grace empowers you did not hear me so the mercy of god begins to cry for you please help him help him it's the mercy of god inside him crying help this one <laughs> and the love says okay we have a problem because the executive court has already decided that a sinner should die so god says okay since the executive court cannot change i'm now coming out and dying as if i'm him do, do, do you realize this because the executive court cannot change his ruling if you sin you die now god's mercy has cried out please forgive so the mercy of god is saying change the rules but when god speaks a word he can't change it the words that have gone out of my mouth i will neither all can or change god can't change what he says so he says okay i know what the executive court says i should kill whosoever sins now this is my son i can't kill mercy is crying out for help but i can't change the rules so what do i do i die myself so that the executive court says yeah we are happy someone died now let's give him a mercedes benz now so the guy is crying out for the mess of god is crying out the problem that's happening is adam wants to negotiate with the executive court so he goes and says ah, sir the wife you gave me the executive court doesn't listen to that excuse the executive court simply says we made a judgment you are getting out of the garden so he's now going out of the garden he's trying to reason is the wife is appealing to the judiciary because in the judiciary you are allowed to come in but let me just tell you something something extra i'm not even saying it but i'm trying to say it but don't don't listen to it there are people god has preserved in this hour this area love wrath mercy benevolence of god all right changes rules this one you are allowed to argue come let us reason together bring your strong reasons this is where the petition works but there are some cases that can never be changed because they are already settled like there is a hell and the devil will suffer there that one no matter how many of you pray it can't change hear me hear me well so when you say to yourself i'm a spirit members member i've decreed that i will never suffer it's not in the executive court the way it's decided the judiciary but sometimes god has elevated few people i, I want to say it in a most humble way you know how do you, how do you say you are number one in a, in a humble way huh even me i don't know how to do it oh how can you say i'm the best all right now what causes god to say when he is holding a five liter gallon of petrol please this is my vision and five liter gallon of paraffin he's going to sodom and gomorrah to burn it as he's walking like this he gets to sodom and gomorrah at the gate he says wait a minute it's not good let's go back and tell abraham before we burn this city you're missing it it seems as if god had taken one man and say as for abraham we know we are three offices here but we can allow another seat to be occupied by Abraham. So he listens to our deliberations. Aye! So these men here, when they arrive at the scene, they can simply 
even if they tell told you that in three weeks you'll be free they can literally say it is happening now no see see i, I know you're not hearing what i'm no you 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 see you you're missing what i'm trying to give you this is just an example but for those who caught the example and already mm -hmm. so a man has been put in the executive do you know the 24 elders that sit on the throne of god i can i don't want to spend my time telling you who they were and who they are uh, because the bible says for they sang the song of the redeemed how can they be redeemed if they are angelic beings that means there were no more human beings like you and i but now they've been put in the executive court to the point that when john thought he had lost to hope knowing that when the executive court decides it's done he said okay the human race is dying dead sins everywhere and nobody's gonna res uh, uh, rescue them he's moving like this and he gets to the throne of god he's seeing the throne there and he's saying who will open the book and one elder from the executive court one elder walked towards him and said don't cry we have some information you don't have on earth ah you see see they're not getting it so there were secrets in the executive court that only god i think my example is working he's wearing white and god is white on his now now you see so while he is there god is like this we have an issue here the world is crying they don't know what we are deciding here they are crying thinking there is no hope so the 24 elders are, are hearing god god is sitting in the middle of the throne and john is crying and one elder said god we we just oh just a minute i'm coming back i need to explain to to our brother john that there is something we know here that he doesn't know that these courts don't have an idea of it's simply executive but i think john is our guy we can put him in executive and put him in a few loops loopholes there that we said behold do not cry for we know who can open this book you are struggling to open ah, the prince of peace himself the son of god jesus christ for he can open the book what was he trying to say he's trying to give them rules dynamics things that change things so the rules are being changed and being twisted best on one thing he had access into the executive court listen you don't need to be a prophet to have access you don't need to be a preacher to have access just see you 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 from Tekwede. trust me in that glen view of yours you can have access to the course of heaven sitting there hearing the, the, the news from another world hearing rumors gossip from heaven you you where you are sitting there doesn't matter you are a woman a man we have grown an affinity to idolize men and women of god so much that when we look at them we think we can never reach that level have you noticed about the executive court that that court can decide in the whole family is you sarah you john you maruza it's just you you can move from this church today walk home before you even get home you're already considered by spirits to be an expert in the things of the spirit in your family you can thank you so family you know i can't share a message of prophet angel without adding our good news prophetic daily devotional as the prophet will say we should share the message so let's watch let's listen and let's read together i welcome you my lovely family to our good news prophetic daily devotional message for today 4th july 2024 by the prophet to christianity highly esteemed prophet hubert angel and prophetess bb angel today's title is if it's worth the wait if worth the wait our anchor scripture is taken from the book of hebrews chapter 6 
WordPress 12. I'm using the new King James version, the new King James version, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those whom true faith and patience inherit the promises. We, when you when you go to fast food restaurants like McDonald's or KFC. There are categories of service and corresponding time allotments. A customer who only needs two pieces of chicken or a hamburger will get served very fast and in no time. But when you arrive at the counter with a large order of 20 buckets of 20 pieces each you will be told to step aside as your order is being prepared why because your order is a special order that needs more time and meticulous attention mm. If you see that in the natural, people take time and more resources to prepare special orders. As in KFC or McDonald's, how much more in spiritual things? If you want a brilliant wife who is dedicated to the things of God, highly intelligent, beautiful, lovely, God-fearing, respectful, good at saving money, and tolerant. Be patient. You need the God kind of faith and be prepared to wait. God is working on your special order to ensure you prosper beyond the normal in this year of milk and honey glory glory be to god glory be to god so family um after reading this let's read our prophetic declaration for today you read with me you follow me or you join me to read or you read after me uh, the prophetic declaration for today my enemies we have no option but to admit that the favor of god is upon me i shall have the last laugh i am coming out of every challenge in grand style to the glory of god in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen so if you have read, read this good news prophetic daily i uh, i believe you've been blessed and i believe this procla this prophetic declaration you've read it shall fully so shall it be for you in jesus name so our 365 day bible reading challenge your scripture my scripture our scripture from today is second king chapter 9 to chapter 11. for further studies read second Thessalonica chapter 1 verse 4 um, Remember what the prophet always says He said don't waste the message When you have the good news copy and you don't share this message You are wasting the message Share it in the mountain, share it in the hill Wherever you find yourself, even at work Share it among your colleagues Share it among your family and friends Share it, don't waste the message don't waste the message. The prophet said that the good news prophetic daily devotional is a prophet. It's a prophet in writing. It's a prophet in writing. So God bless you. So thank you for watching this message. I believe you have been blessed. I believe you've learned. I believe you've learned something so about the, the executive court of heaven, the legislative court of heaven, and the judiciary court of heaven. How decisions are being made in those courts in heaven. So, God bless you for watching this video and reading our good news message too. 
don't forget to subscribe like share and comment i will see you in our subsequent videos god bless you